Alexa, I'm not talking to you. I have to make it fun, otherwise I don't do it. This is a new location. Interesting. Not sure why I'm recording from here, but I am. So, hi. Welcome, storytellers, back to my channel. If you're not already part of the Storyteller Squad, obviously hit the subscribe button and join us. Now, today's video is a little bit different. We're going to go to a different level of my room. I obviously took a break from YouTube, and the reason for that is because, well, you know, sometimes I get depression, sometimes my anxiety kicks in, sometimes I just want to sleep all the time. I channel my mood into two things, my hair and my room. And um, we've already seen my hair happen. I keep it generally pretty clean overall. Some weeks are harder than most, but um, I just like, I get in these moods and I just need to clean and I need to keep cleaning and I need to organize and purge myself of things I no longer need or no longer serve me. So I've done that. I've actually kind of already cleaned out my closet, which, oh God, there's things. So, I mean, this is 10 times cleaner than what it used to be. There used to be stuff everywhere. We're going to ignore my shoes because the shoes are waiting on uh, a specific type of organization storage type thing and I need to buy it and fix that. But otherwise, everything is pretty clean. I've gotten my drawers pretty clean. I've thrown out, hi, a lot of clothes. So we're clearly at a different angle. This is the bottom of my bookshelf, which generally I don't show because usually it is a mess, but it's actually pretty okay today. So this all leads up to what this video is, which is DIY dividers, drawer dividers, <sighs> because I'm living in a place of this and it's not serving me and it just chaos breeds chaos and also like my brown underwear drawer is the same and I saw on Pinterest obviously um, homemade sock drawer dividers and I want to do it I want to be an artist but also clean I have cardboard from boxes from a workbook drive that literally probably has messed up my arm and I don't have health insurance so I can't go get it checked out I also have a lot of paint that I sits under my bed it's kind of a problem I have two brushes that I usually use for face masks now I've already measured out um, the length width and depth of my drawers and now it's time I just need to read instructions and cut so. oh god all right I'm gonna cut down the middle so I have more room to work with here now off screen I'm going to measure and cut because it's going to be a bloodbath okay so what I'm going to be doing differently from this instruction tutorial is I am going to be painting because I don't want just pieces of cardboard in my drawer I want it to be aesthetically pleasing so that I will want to use it so I'm probably gonna just do acrylic white paint. I already did it wrong, just so you know, but I'm gonna go my own way. I'm already going rogue. I, I did literally step one. Let me shake it with my good arm. Oh. That water hit me hard. Ignore my feet, they're disgusting, but we are gonna paint. I don't remember the last time I actually painted, it's been a while. And I'm not making it super perfect because it's going to be in my drawer, but at the same time I'm down for the slightly rustic white paint.
And I am going to cut like divots in so that the piece will fit. one's a little baby one but there we have it all nice and divided obviously uh, they're not perfect um, and I did rip in a couple places because I'm a careless person but I have to say it's pretty like it sticks together and it's standing up on its own and nothing is really like super flimsy and honestly like if I wasn't filming this would probably take me like 45 minutes tops I didn't follow the instructions completely but I really actually am loving that it actually worked so I'm gonna put in my socks Well, there you have it. Homemade DIY drawer dividers. The end product is 100% worth it because before this drawer was kind of just like shoved closed all the time. Even though I really don't own a lot of socks because I don't really wear socks that much. Um, it just seemed like I had more than what I'm looking at right now like it's organized I even have an open box space that I like I could put new socks in it's amazing what a little bit of dividers will do and I'm not gonna lie I wish I could do dividers for like everything that I own but I was just really curious if this would work because I am broke and I also want to be organized and I can't afford those fancy dividers so just so you know you can DIY it with just literally one box I didn't even use the whole box at least half a box and some basic paint if you want to paint it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if there's any DIY projects that you do at home that you think I should try out. I want to paint a million things right now. <laughs> but once again, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can become part of the Storyteller Squad. This is the Storyteller of the Week. Thank you so much for watching and loving and, and just being awesome. Keep on shining, Storytellers.